I'm a motherfucking beast. I'm a motherfucking R. Pull up with the slump. Or What's up with it, y'all? E J O E business. Welcome to the channel. Hey, how'd you like that opening? How'd you like that? That my shit bang, my shit bang, my shit bang. Yeah, that was E40 right there. Name of the song's called My Shit Bang. All right. Anyways, um, I was listening to him earlier, you know, him and Too Short, they had, you know, a little battle, a little versus battle, you know, so, you know, I was up over here, you know, I had to watch that because, you know, they from Cali, you know, from the Bay Area too, I'm from the Bay, anyways, you didn't ask that, so, look at this, you guys, watch all this with me if you can, and the only reason why I'm saying that is... This is off of a white member that um, he's with EFF. So when I'm saying watch this with me, um, somebody sent me a message on um, somebody sent me a message on Instagram, and they talked about EFF, and then I went to that person's page. I uh, the the person whoever it is. Um, um, I guess what it seems like he's not with the EFF like he's like he doesn't mess with them at all whoever I don't know who that person was you know but seemed like I guess this person doesn't mess with him all right doesn't mess with them all right so right here this is a video I saw on his page but it was short but I guess this is the whole thing it's a white member at the EFF who stands up for him and he speaks about the the break and fail racism about break and fail racism all right so it's an eff white member um I'm, this is gonna be interesting because just like i said what the guy who um spoke with me he sent me a message on instagram it had to do with eff like um like this person just made it seem like you know he's not happy with it <clears throat> You know, I don't know anything about it. You know, I'm just watching this with you guys, just learning on the end, you know. So let's look at this right here, okay? So it's a white member. Let's check this out. All right, I'm done talking. So yesterday during the EFF's protest in Brackenfell, I came across this video of a white UCT student, University of Cape Town student, who was in support of the EFF. In fact, let me play you guys the first video that I came across of him speaking to the media. Markovitz, I was born and raised in Cape Town, I live in Cape Town. The, the situation here in Brackenfell is the same as every single white neighborhood in the whole country. The racism is instilled in the bones of these people. The only difference is here that it's more open and violent. Um, I went to a private school with mostly white kids. And this thing happened all over. We had parties where we didn't invite the black kids. Black kids only hung out with each other. It's a violent space to grow up in in this country. Nothing has changed. It's only gotten worse in the past 30 years. And today I think we wanna have that confrontation with these whites. I saw these private security guys standing there with their guns. They're threatening us. The PPA has been threatening us. It's a violent state to live in. And today, I think it's time we fight back. Look, you guys heard what I heard as well. All right, y'all. I guess this is going to get pretty deep, you know. So, I don't know. That was interesting with everything he just said. All right. So, here we go. You know, I'm, I was in awe when I was hearing this. I was like, really? Is this guy trolling? Is this guy just being a troll or something like that? But now nah, there's actually more videos that followed from the guy. So before we get into all of that, please do me a huge favor. If you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. So yeah, after that video that I saw, I came across another video of the same student talking to the press. This is a little bit later on during the day, as you can see in the background, there's a lot of commotion. This is what he had to say. 
I'm standing in solidarity with the EFF and Blackland First, and we're standing against the Cape Party and the DA, which are trying to uphold white supremacy. And we're here to start the conversation about transferring the generational wealth and land over to the historically disenfranchised population of Azania. Are you a member of the EFF? Since I've been 18 years old, I've been a member of the EFF. What is it about the EFF that has attracted you? It's just their message. Um, it's frankly come too late. Uh, their message of transferring the generational wealth that has been stolen. The property that exists in expensive white areas in this country needs to be transferred. And they're speaking about that. No other party is speaking about that. The ANC is a neoliberal centrist organization. They're not interested in doing any of this. The EFF has spoken something we all feel and we all talk about as young people. What is your message to young people in South Africa? And Pause that. I bet he gets a lot of shit thrown at him. I guarantee, especially how he's white. I guarantee there's probably a lot of people that look down on him for that. You know, I already know there's a, I already know, I figured that, I know that there's not just black people part of the EFF. I know it's mixed in because it's just like Black Lives Matter out here in the States. But, um... Yeah, let's keep watching this, all right, y'all? We're at a precipice in history. We are holding on to our parents' money and our parents' land. We need to hand it over as quick as humanly possible. There was not healing in 94. There needs to be mass healing and reparations in this country. And it's up to us white people to transfer that wealth and that power. All right, at this point, you know, I'm not really thinking that uh, he is captured because he clearly does say that he is actually a member of the EFF. And he does talk about the Cape Party. Funny enough, I actually saw a clip from the Cape Party leader who had the following to say. Surname? Uh, Jack Miller, leader of the Cape Party. Uh, why are you here today? Uh, we're here to stand in solidarity with the Brackenfell parents, school kids and residents. And what is the Cape Party all about for people who are not aware of the party? The Cape Party, we're basically a grassroots organization that uh, believes in that we can still have a rainbow nation right here in an independent Western Cape. We think that this dream of a rainbow nation has been destroyed by the ANC and even worse by the EFF. So we're here today to stand for true uh, non-racialism. And uh, the only racists that we see here in Brackenfell today are the EFF. And uh, are you calling for the independence of this province? Yes, we are. Why? Because it is the most racially diverse. Uh, we have a different political ideology to the rest of the country. Uh, the Western Cape is the only province that has never voted for the ANC or any of these types of uh, racist policies. So the Western Cape is the most multiracial and uh, we want to have a true rainbow nation in an independent Cape. Now let me ask you about racism. There's been several uh, reports of um, racism, particularly because we're here in Brackenfell High, uh, where even a diversity committee was established to, um, to filter through those complaints of racism and racial discrimination. Sorry, what's the question? The question is, what about the racial reports, the racial discrimination reports that have been coming into the school through the diversity committee that was established? Because a lot of uh, students, particularly the black students, were feeling excluded and racially discriminated. Uh, that's a political agenda. This is a political agenda driven by the EFF. And, uh, you know, you, you could present the exact same case for... Um, you know, if, if there were schools where there were majority black students um, and all you need to do is to go into social media, look at private house parties from uh, high schools in areas like Kailicha or Guguletu and, uh, you know, you could lodge similar complaints. And it, it's just ridiculous. The, the students were not racist. Uh, uh, we've, we've discussed, um, we've had discussions with many of the, the students here, the parents and the residents. And these are not racist. So the Cape Party leader is basically saying the opposite of what the EFF member is saying. They are literally on opposite sides of the fence. Like literally because there was a fence separating the EFF and the rest of the Brackenfell members. Now the Cape Party leader was talking about uh, an independent Western Cape. Independent from... Alright. 
Here's a commercial. From South Africa, I suppose. And you know, I thought about it. I was like, getting independence from South Africa is quite simple. All you gotta do is get yourself a passport and book yourself on the first flight out of South Africa. Now, when he's asked about the racism in Brackenfell, he simply says that it is just a political agenda. So, hey, this guy. Let's go back to the EFF member. This time around, I suppose maybe people were not really believing or buying that is an EFF member who popped up wearing an EFF jacket. And this is what he had to say this time around. Been a member. I just pause right there so um this part right here i remember this this is the video that i saw it was just a shortened one it was because i remember how he had on a red jacket right here since i was 18 years old i'm 21 now is your grandfather a former leader yes my grandfather was leon markovitz um i believe the da is a white supremacist party and i'm trying to rectify the situation here today we need to transfer the generational wealth and land to the disenfranchised people of this country. So what, what do you think of the residents being on the corner? I think they yearn for apartheid. I think they use neighborhood WhatsApp groups and PPA and private security to uphold apartheid in their neighborhoods. This exists in every single white neighborhood in this country. The only difference is that in Brackenfell it's more potent and violent. What do you think? Do you think the, a, the EFF is justified to come here and to to protest, to protest outside the, the I think school. they need to be doing more. I think we need to be taking this protest to Clifton and Houghton Park where the 20 million rand houses yeah. are. Okay, I think Brackenfell is not enough money here. These poor whites are angry and violent and they're bored with their life. We need to take it, we need to take it where the rich people have money and they're still making money off that land which is all generational wealth passed down from their parents. Talk to us about um, the response of the WCED to this situation. Um, it's a DA situation. The DA is still a white supremacist party. Okay, they're not interested in solving the problems, the the, the wounds of apartheid. Um, I have no faith in any DA government body to solve any situation. And how do you feel personally when you see, as a white person, as a young white person, you know, we're supposed to be this rainbow nation, you know. Your generation it's not a rainbow nation. Yeah. 94, we didn't fix the problem. Mandela sold us out. Yeah. We sold out Winnie. And today, and things like today, are part of the process of fixing that and healing these wounds. How do you feel about the uh, Cape Party being here? I think the Cape Party is a white supremacist organization. You see the way. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. I can't really say. Uh, I didn't. I'm gonna finish watching that. That was just funny. Um, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, damn. How do you guys feel about this? You know, just having somebody, because there's a lot of people that, um, that watch my stuff, that, um, they listen to my reactions and, you know, a lot of people, you know, they say how they're down with EFF, you know, so for the people that are down with, just period, if you're down with it or if you're not, how do you feel about seeing somebody white that's in the media like this, that's just shown around? Like, how do you guys feel about that? Like, do you like that? Because you feel that, you know, it just shows that it's just not um, black people or is are you kind of upset about it? You know, so let me know. All right. This is almost done, too. They dress the way they armed, they yearn for the old days, and I feel sad for them. They hold so much anger in their hearts. And Jack, Jack the uh, independence, Cape Party is calling for the independence of the Western Cape. Yeah. This is something that we've heard from the VF Plus leader as well. What are your thoughts? It's these white people trying to hold on to their generational wealth, They're scared of losing their land. There's very valuable land in the Western Cape. We need to take this land and transfer it to the people of this country. Oh, okay. It's over. All right, y'all. Let me know how you guys feel about that, all right? Um, I don't know. They probably said his name. I don't remember. But um, white member, part of the EFF. Um, obviously, he doesn't agree with um, with the other person that was talking. Um, forgot what he said. He's part of the Cape something. Um, I think that's what he said. Anyways, let me know how you guys feel. Your turn. Talk to me. All right, man. We up out of here.